Okay, so in another Ruby on Rails application with Stripe that I built, I implemented a buy now button where we can uh, press the button and be redirected to a Stripe checkout session where we have our selected products and we can input our code and pay via Stripe. And now we're going to do something similar. We're going to create a Stripe checkout session and redirect to a billing page. So let's do it. Now, first we will create a controller. We will go to our application controllers and create a controller checkout controller dot rb and inside it will be i will actually copy for it to be faster it will be class uh, checkout controller that inherits from application controller we will have a def create method and inside we are going to create our stripe checkout session we will say at session equals stripe checkout session create and so on okay then we will have a success url a cancel url that let the success url be the posts url and it has to be not post path but url otherwise you will have an error and for cancel we will have the uh, pricing url so we will go back to pricing so pricing url then the payment method types will be called and the mode will be not payment, but the mode will be subscription. Here we have different modes. So the mode will be subscription. Okay, and you see, we can set some kind of price. Now we can just select one of the prices that we have. I will go to our uh, products. Oh, actually we can just get one of the prices from here. Yes, I'll just select this price and input it here and remove these spaces. Quantity one. And the mode is subscription. So when we go to the checkout controller create action, we'll be able to create a session for the mode subscription and for this uh, 10 USD per month product. Okay. And now we need to add this in our roots. So we'll go to roots and in roots we will have uh, post uh, uh, checkout slash uh, create to check out create action as check out create let's try it like this and we will add this in our ap application html as a button so we will have uh, equals link to uh, check out it will go to checkout uh, create off. Then the method is going to be post and it is going to be remote true. Like this. Let's see if this is available. So I can press checkout. And yeah, nothing uh, really happens. So it renders had no content because I say remote true method post and uh, it just creates the session but uh, it doesn't do anything else and we will say respond to do format and it will respond to format dot js and now let's try once again i press uh, checkout and still nothing happens well it is because we need to create this uh, uh, create.js file so we will go to our views and in views we will create a folder checkout inside we'll have an action or a view create.js.erb and here we're going to have some code now we are just going to copy this code from another application that we built vaishmarov slash, slash shoplify and in this shoplify we can go to create.js.erb and this is going to be the JavaScript that we will have here with a Stripe public key to get the checkout session and to redirect to this checkout session URL. So I will post this code here and try once again. I press checkout. What happens? Nothing seems to happen. I'll open the inspect element and I see uh, uncode reference error 
Stripe is not defined. So we need to define Stripe. And we're just going to add the, the script js stripe com uh, into our application HTML. And this way we are going to define Stripe. Now let's try once again. I press checkout. And it works. So you see, we are on a checkout page where we have this uh, $10 per month. We can input an email, card information, and so on. Looks good. So let's save the changes. What we have done now, we have implemented a Stripe checkout session page. Git status, git add all, git commit main, uh, uh, link to Stripe checkout session. Okay, looks good. And now let's actually customize this checkout session. So first of all, we will have uh, the current user set in the session. Now we can see in the API documentation, we can set the customer. So we will say uh, customer equals current user dot stripe customer ID. Now, once again, I will go to the checkout page. And you see the email the, of the customer of the current user is already set by default. Looks good. And now let's make uh, a separate pay or select price uh, or select plan button for each of the two prices, not just one where we, ha where we have a hard coded price. So let's uh, go to our application HTML ERB. I'm going to remove the checkout button from here and add this checkout button inside our pricing page. And we'll have a checkout button for each price. And we're going to pass the params that the price will be price.id. So we're going to get uh, this price dynamically into our controller, into the checkout controller. And here, instead of a hard-coded price, we'll have params price. Let's see if this works. So I will press checkout for 100 USD per year. And I have this plan selected. Now I will go back and select the other checkout. And we have 10 USD per month selected. Now we can input a card. Let's make it 4242, some kind of dates, a code, a name and subscribe. And let's see what happens. So Stripe is validating the payment. And well, we will redirect it to the success URL, to the post URL. If we go into the Stripe uh, developer logs, now logs, I uh, can't get it. We see that uh, it succeeded just now. So 6.30 uh, something, we had this checkout session, all these posts, and it uh, succeeded. Let's have a look at our current customer. Here is our customer that just made the payment. I go to his page and you see 10 USD succeeded. The payment is complete. Looks uh, good. Here's the card that we just used and the payment is uh, recurring. The invoice was created by a monthly subscription. And we see that he has an active subscription that renews on April 12th. So today is the 12th of March. Okay, looks good. We managed to subscribe a current user to a plan. And let's actually allow our user to uh, manage his billing. But first, let's save our changes. Let's say git status, git add all, git commit main, uh, current user can select any available plan. Okay, and now we will add the Stripe billing portal. 
in which a user can view his subscription, upgrade or downgrade the subscription, cancel the subscription, see and change his payment methods, and see his billing history. So let's uh, see how we can do it. It is the Stripe uh, billing portal. I will go to search and I will find billing portal. Okay, here we have retrieve a billing portal configuration. We will go to create a portal session. So we would go and say Stripe billing portal session create. And let's go to our controllers and create a new controller for this. It will be a billing portal controller dot rb and here i will say class billing portal controller that inherits from application controller okay here i will have an end statement then it will all be wrapped into a def create here we are going to have this stripe billing portal session create and and let's say portal session equals stripe billing portal session create then the customer is going to be the current user dot customer dot stripe customer id and the return url is going to be the root url okay and one more thing that we need to do here let me see we will redirect to the uh, portal session dot url so basically we make an api call to stripe to create a billing portal for the current user and it creates a url and we're going to redirect to this url now let's make it available in our roots i'll go to roots and i will say post billing portal create to billing portal create as billing portal create okay i missed an l like this and i'm going to make this billing portal link available in our application navigation so we will say link to billing portal it will be billing portal create path method post let's see if this works I will start the server. I go to billing portal and uninitialized constant billing portal controller. Yeah, I made a mistake, a typing mistake. It will be billing portal here, uh, maybe somewhere else. Billing portal, let's see. Yeah, I made some typo somewhere. Looks like the typo was here in the billing portal create path. I'll go back. Undefined method billing portal create path. Now roots. Yes, so here I have it portal but not portal. Building for like this funny typo let's go back now i press billing portal and here i am redirected to the billing portal and i can see that i am subscribed to ten dollars per month and i cannot uh, change it at the moment but i can see my uh, email i can try to update something i can update my uh, billing address and that's pretty it. So I can go to the Stripe uh, dashboard and manage my billing portal. I'll go to settings and here I have a customer portal. Maybe I also have the billing portal somewhere. Let's try customer portal. And here I can see uh, what can be changed and what can't be changed. So uh, we can change the billing address let's say we can change payment methods we can cancel the subscription immediately or at the end of the billing period let's say immediately then if we prorate or don't prorate the subscription we can basically return or not return money 
then we can allow customers to switch to a different plan. And we can add other settings here. So I will just save this. And actually to make it work on the very beginning, you need to uh, add the terms of service and privacy policy. So I just added like a couple of random links. And okay, I need to update subscription with at least one product. So I will add products and I will add these two products. The first product and the second product. The two products that are available in this customer portal. Okay, now uh, what if I go back and try to refresh the page, will it change? Yes, you see, now I can cancel the plan and update the plan and change the payment method. Let me update the plan. I can update it to yearly, continue. I need to pay 90 more dollars, so I confirm. And I was automatically built on my current card. Looks good. Now I can also cancel a plan. Let me cancel the plan. And I don't have any plans. So I would go back and to subscribe to a plan, I would go to pricing and select one of the plans once again. So what we did now, we added the Stripe customer portal and the Stripe billing portal. In one, we can uh, make a payment and uh, like select a plan and make a payment. And in the other, we can manage our subscriptions. So that is it for now. And next we're going to work with the webhooks and the webhooks are going to change the subscription status to active if uh, the current user has a current ongoing paid subscription. So this is it for now. And thank you for being with me. Like, comment, and subscribe, I guess. And the application is available on my uh, GitHub page and on Heroku. So have a nice day.